Hi everyone, it's Nami Kanayika from gospelthroughwords.com. How are you all, my brothers and sisters? I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you today. Yesterday I had to go downtown. Now in our workplace, we've been asked to come twice a week. Not every every week, but every other week, twice a week. And the other week's just one, one Thursday. So now I'm, I'm not able to do on Tuesdays the Bible devotional. But I'm excited any moment, anything that I can do uh, to speak about the Word of God with you and me. So today I want to encourage you from Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. It's a beautiful chapter. If you have read Daniel and it's hard for you to understand, you can join a Bible study group uh, where we at the Lakeside Church Toronto, we have a Monday Bible study group where our Amma, that is our precious um, uh, Lalita Arnold, she would be teaching you the book of Daniel. So we are almost towards the end of the, the Daniel, book of Daniel, and we studied on Daniel chapter 11 that day. and. We, got, we heard this beautiful scripture verse and it says in Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. It is amazing. It says that those who know their God Do you know your God? Do you and I know our God? Do we know that the God we serve is not limited to a statue? Do you know that the God we serve is not limited to man? The God we serve is the creator of the universe, the galaxies, the planets, everything. He is the God. If you and I, first we know the God that we serve, we will be strong. So how can we know the God we serve? Jesus, when he was here on earth, he said, Father, I have shown them you. I have told them about you. We can listen to God through the word of God. When we hear the word of God, we listen to what God wants us to do. And we know his character. We become to know how faithful he is, how loving he is, how he is our healer, how holy he is, how powerful he is, how strong he is. When we have that communication with him and spend time with him, talking to him, learning about him, studying the Bible, that has gives us a fellowship with him. Do you have a friend that you love so much? You want to spend time with them person to spend time with them you get to know what they like what they eat what they drink and what they wear you get to know what they like and dislike the same way when we have communion with God when we talk with God when we have fellowship with God we get to know who he is I know when I was small, I didn't know how big my God is. But now I am matured. I have learned. I've studied the word. I've heard him speak to me through the word of God. And I know how big he is. He is amazing. So we get to know him by speaking to him. We get to know him by hearing him. We get to know him by seeing his works in our life. Observing what he does in our life. And once you get to know him, you become strong. I don't know about you. Uh, uh, let's say uh, my father is the president. I am strong because my father is the president. He can do everything for me. Or my father is someone really wealthy. I know that he can buy me anything I want. I know my father. He owns the cattle in the hills. My God made the big mountains. He created them through his word. When I know how big he is, I have confidence in him. I know the sickness that I might face today, he is able to resolve it. I know that I have the ability to be strong because my God is strong, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I can strengthen my brothers and sisters around through the power of Christ in me. You and I, we have the, the strength to avoid temptation. When we know Holy Spirit is living inside of us, the Emmanuel, God with us, is living inside of us. 
we can defeat any temptation the enemy gives us or our self are tempted to. When we are strong in the Lord and when we know our God, we can do great exploits. You can ask me, what is an exploit? Exploit is something, achievement, a great reward us, things that you have done, something the enemy thought that you cannot do, something the enemy thought that you are defeated and you rise from the ashes. That is a great exploit. Gideon was able with 300 people to win the battle. The Bible is full of people who did exploits for God. Esther was a queen. She was placed as the queen and she did a great exploits to save the people of Israel. Samson, David, Elijah, we know they are all used by God mightily. David only had three stones and he was able to hit the giant and kill the giant. You and I, we can turn the world upside down or right side up. We, you and I can make a difference in our circles, in our families, in our community. You and I are called to do great exploits for God. We can do it by witnessing to others, praying for others, telling others about Christ and telling about the great things he has done in our lives. My family might not be significant in people's eyes, but in God's eyes, he has chosen our family to do great exploits. We would, till the day that we, you and I have breath, we would do great exploits for God. The work that we do here on earth will be counted as recorded by God. and We will be rewarded for every word we speak about Him, everything we do for Him. You and I can do great exploits because we know our God, we are going to be strong in the Lord and we will do great exploits. God has used us mightily to touch people's hearts with our paintings, with our poems, with our books, with the way that we interact with one another. Every person who comes into our life, may it be a Christian, may it not be, they would see the glory of God in our lives. They would be touched by the glory of God. We would keep connection with them, communion with them, sharing with them everything that God is doing in our lives. That is how we can change little by little people's life. If you believe, I have a friend uh, that my children were in daycare when they were really small, maybe ages two and a half onwards, they were in daycare and I had to go downtown to work. So every day I would be dropping them in daycare and I have relationship with those people in daycare and I still have those relationships going on. We share plans, we talk about achievements by the boys. I share every small achievement God has done in their lives and I give the glory to God. And they know that I am a believer, that I trust in Him. I trust in the God who can do everything. And there is this person who was the resource um, educator in that daycare. And we had a really lovely relationship. She's a lovely lady. We were always sharing what God is doing in their lives. And she had a grandson who had to go through the same things that my sons went through. And she was able to see what God is doing in our lives and have hope for her grandson. So my brother and sister, you don't know who you are impacting with your story, with your testimony, with your struggles, with your storms. So keep on telling others about Jesus. Do great exploits for God because the God inside of you is stronger than anything in the world. You know your God and you become strong in the Lord and you will do great exploits for God. I am not a great singer, but whenever I go on the stage at our church, I will sing for the Lord, worship Him with all my heart. I'm not a great writer, but whenever I have a moment where my heart is touched and I want to say, say it and express it, I will write a poem. And it will be in a book very soon. There will be a poem book released by our family. And I'm not a um, great painter, 
if you look at my paintings and someone else's paintings it's not really great but with the talent that little interest that you have I'm painting and I'm doing things with my son and I've taught my son how to paint and we have community events where we go and sell our paintings and showcase our paintings in exhibitions God is faithful so do the little that you have use the little that you have to touch people's hearts and you might say I don't have time every one of us is given 24 hours a day every hour is counted for every hour let's remember God and do something even small God will make it big we would great do great exploits because we know our God and we know who he is we know how faithful he is how holy he is how powerful he is and we know what he promised he will do have a wonderful day everyone let's pray today father we come to you thank you lord that you are the holy god the faithful god the true god there's no one like you you touch my heart and i will tell everyone about you lord i thank you that you use the little that we have for your glory for your honor for your praise use us mightily help us do great exploits not for our glory but for your glory alone in jesus name we pray amen last year i published a book called little is enough and that really was something that was in my heart that little is enough with god the three or five stones that david had was enough to kill the goliath with god 300 people in the army was just enough to kill the people to win victory so my brother and sister little is enough with God little is enough your finances might be small but with God little is enough <coughs> sorry about that let's sing this beautiful worship song I loved it when I heard it I, I wanted to sing it today with you it's called I call you faithful let's uh, hear the video song because it is so powerful this gentleman sings <clears throat> Do you know God's name? Call you holy. Your name is holy. You are so holy to me. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Holy you are and holy you be. Our God is holy. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Who was so holy to me? He's holy. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Holy you are and holy you be. I call you righteous, your name is righteous, you are so righteous to me. I call you righteous, your name is righteous, righteous you are and righteous you be. I call you awesome, your name is awesome, you have been awesome to me. I call you awesome, your name is awesome, awesome you are, and awesome you be. Yeah. 
I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. You are so faithful to me. I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. Faithful you are and faithful you be. Our God has so many names that we can call on. He is faithful. He is holy. He is awesome. And you and I can do great exploits when we know our God, when we trust in Him. We will become strong in the Lord. You and I can do great exploits, not for our glory, but for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ who lives inside of you. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me, my brother and sister. Have a wonderful day. Share this message with your friends and your loved ones. Encourage one another and read the word of God, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. You and I can do great exploits when we know our God, become strong in the Lord. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.